guys, how you doing? I'm going to try to keep this simple. I'm going to show you how you turn your dryer on. It tumbles, but it's not blowing any heat. And I'm going to show you basically what I would do to check your machine if I was at your house doing a service call. So the first thing you would want to do is with the dryer plugged into the wall. Now before you say anything like, oh, it's not very, whatever, I don't want to hear it. Your dryer's plugged into the wall, you get your cord hooked up, you're going to want to get to this part of your dryer. Don't stick your fingers in there. I made a video on how to check an ice maker, check your water valve. People left nasty comments, oh, I got shocked. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't. Plug your dryer into the wall. You get your connection. Set your voltmeter to AC current and check to make sure you're getting the right voltage. You're, if half your breaker is kicked, depending on what type of breaker you have, your dryer may run and not heat and it could be your breaker or a connection within your plug box. So to eliminate that, we're going to check to make sure the dryer is getting the right amount of voltage. So you want to check from the center to the left side and you want to get 110 volts. Then you want to check from the center to the right side and you're going to get another 110 volts. Then you check across the two outside terminals you're going to get 240 volts, give or take a couple volts. And um, as long as you've got that, then we can move on to the next step. But if you don't have that, you're going to have to address the problem why your dryer is not getting 240 volts. So, now after you got the dangerous part out of the way, now go ahead and unplug the dryer from the wall because the next check is going to be with the safety thermostat. You know, then maybe, maybe your vent was plugged up or another thermostat on one of your limiting or cycling thermostats have failed and the heater stayed on constant, if the heater stays on and doesn't cycle off, it's going to trip this thermostat up here. So if you know if this one here gets tripped, it doesn't reset. Once it, once it breaks circuit, it doesn't cool down, make a contact, and then your heat comes back on. This is telling you that you have a problem that you need to address. So if this is tripped, then um, you know you're going to have and these come in a, in a kit. You, you buy both your thermostats down below. So if this is if this is tripped, basically you're going to end up replacing all three thermostats. That's probably going to be, take care of your problem. So let's check this first. Your safety thermostat. And what you want to do is unplug one of the wires from it. Set your your voltmeter to to ohms. Okay. And then just go ahead and check across the two terminals. And you should get some kind of reading. Mine gives me 0 0.2, 3, 4, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.3. Let's settle on a 0 0.3. Like this, it's an open circuit. If you read an open circuit when you got the two from it, you, this is bad. So if you're getting a reading, this is good. Move on to the next thermostat. All right, here we go. Down here to the thermostat that's on the heater itself. So two things we're going to check right here is going to be the actual heater and then the, the, the limit thermostat that controls that. So you want to go ahead and set your voltmeter to ohms. Go ahead and unplug your wire connection. Now, Remember, the dryer is unplugged from the wall at this point. There's no power here whatsoever. We're checking resistance. So we got our voltmeter set on ohms, and we're going to go ahead and check across the two terminals. We should get a reading. I'm getting 9.7, which, give or take a couple points, that's a good heater. Now, one other thing you want to check, when you're checking the heater, not only do you want to check resistance across the, uh, across the coils of the heater, but you want to check it against the, the frame. This should read an open circuit. So basically, from one terminal open, from the other terminal to the frame of the heater, it's reading open. That means your windings inside your heater aren't touching the, uh, aren't touching the edge. Now you might get electrocuted if that was happening. It could still work, but you still can get electrocuted. Alright, so now that you check that, we know that the heater is good. Uh, the last thing I'm going to check when you're down here, this thermostat right here, you want to make sure the voltage can get 
from here to the other terminal of the heater. So if it's not making it through here, then obviously it's not going to heat. So unplug your unplug your wire with it on ohms. I'm going to check across the two terminals. 0.3, and that's good. All right, so moving on to the last the last thermostat. All right, so here we go. The last thermostat that we're going to check is going to be right here. It's got four wires going to it. You're going to have two of the two of the same color wires on small connections, and you're going to have your two big your two big red power wires. And these ones here are what supply the heater with voltage. So go ahead and unplug one, just like we we did before, and check across this terminal and this terminal on ohms. And you should you should get about the um, the same as your safety thermostat, like 0.3 something like that. As long as you get a 0.3 reading and it doesn't show up in circuit, then you should uh, you should have heat. If you, uh, if you if if your dryer's running and you're not you're not getting any heat, you need to check those things right there. More than likely, you're going to find the problem in there. If you don't find the problem in there, the only other thing that's going to leave is the timer. So you're going to have a timer problem basically all right guys so the, there you have it. there's a couple things to check when you're when your dryer's not heating the first thing is you want to check with with the dryer not heating so hopefully you find your problem within those simple little checks right there M more than likely that's where you're going to find your problem if it's not your cord not setting the right voltage to your to your terminal block then you more than likely you have a thermostat issue and be sure to watch the other videos because here now that I have my dryer apart, I'm going to go ahead and make another video showing you how to clean this thing out to make it run a lot more efficient than, than, than what it would probably run right now if you've never cleaned the dryer.